Hi, I'm Sophie Jordan, and I'm gonna share some fun facts about myself that y'all may not know. And see, my y'all crept out because I'm a Texas girl. I have shared on panels and when I'm out in public that I'm a total TV junkie. I'm obsessed and I follow a lot of TV shows and anytime, it's really bad for me if you're like, hey, have you heard of the show? And I'll be like, no, what's it about? And then if you tell me, I'm hooked. So if you keep doing that, my writing process slows. You may not want to do that. I get my writing ideas from lots of interesting places, uh, sometimes fellow authors and sometimes talking about, you know, I'm a big, you know, zombie movie fan, but I didn't really want to write a zombie book. And it's just, but it's always been there in the back of my head. I'm like, what could be a really creepy creature or monster that could threaten my, you know, my loved ones, my characters in this new world. And I landed on star nose mirror. Those cute little things you think are cute and they belong in cartoons are nasty. So I just took and amplified all that nastiness and created my dark dwellers. My Twitter handle is so very Sophie because there was a lot of Sophie Jordans. And I'm like, and one of my friends was like, what should I come up with? And I, uh, it was suggested to me to use so very Sophie. And then when I got on Instagram, I think so very Sophie was taken which felt wrong because I had been so very Sophie on Twitter for a while, but I had to, I think I came up with so Sophie Jordan at that point. So you're always going to find a so in there. I can eat cream cheese on cardboard, which is kind of hard because I've now tried to go a little paleo and it's such a joke because, you know, you got kind of dairy with paleo, but I love me some cream cheese. That is, I think, cream cheese and lattes, which lattes, I mean, that's has dairy in there too. All the best things I am trying to cut out. There is a contemporary angsty YA story in me somewhere because I was that girl. I remember liking a guy in high school so intensely and we as a group were going to a wedding together. He was invited and I was invited. It was like our mutual friend's older sibling. And I found this awesome dress and I had my hair done and I'm like, he's gonna see me, like see me really for the first time. So I remember walking down the stairs and looking down into this opening in the wall and then they were all sitting at the kitchen table. So I'm like walking down to them and he's sitting there and I, set the heel on the end of the step and I ate it. Like I tumbled down the stairs in a dress and I, at that moment, I just let that crush go because I was like, this could never happen. I think to Daniel Day-Lewis in Last of the Mohicans when he's standing with Madeline Stowe and he's like, stay alive no matter what, I will find you. And I think that's the best romantic moment in the history of cinema. And my 12 year old daughter, who now watches a lot of shows with me. She does, she is a Teen Wolf junkie. And we watched that together. She came in the living room and I was like, oh, oh, watch this with me. It's gonna be another one of these moments, mother-daughter bonding things. She's gonna see Daniel De Hawkeye in Last of the Mohicans and she's gonna be as swept away as I am and always have been. And when it was over, she just looked at me and she was like, he's not very hot. It was like a knife in my heart. And I was like, shut your mouth and you're grounded. 